Dumb and Dumber is coming to ruin Star Wars next, if that's even possible. What's up everybody? Today I wanted to talk about D&D, the producers, writers and destroyers of the biggest TV show up to date, Game of Thrones. Now I have to give them props because they did indeed created the biggest TV show ever. Game of Thrones is huge and I believe that when it first started up to season 6 it was brilliant, it was great, they were doing a great job so they're definitely very good at adapting a source material that exists but when they ran out of the source material and they had to actually write the story and actually continue the character arcs they completely destroyed it to the point that you go have a look at Game of Thrones season 8 it started with 92% and it went down to 47 not to mention the raging on the internet right now now the funny story is that Bob Iger chooses yesterday out of all the days you know the week where people are actually mad on the internet because of what's going on with the show to announce that the next Star Wars trilogy is definitely going to be D&Ds, you know, which I like to call them now officially Dumb and Dumber because in order for you to destroy the biggest TV show in history, you have to have, you, you just, I mean, obviously it's because they didn't care anymore and they were rushing the show, but this is a story for another video. But anyways, uh, now, can they actually ruin Star Wars? I mean, we all know that Star Wars is also not very high in popularity right now and that's a lot to do with The Last Jedi, thanks to Ryan Johnson and his subverting expectations. So can they even do a worse job? To be honest with you, the talk is that they are coming to do Knights of the Old Republic, which is something that the fans have been, you know, begging. I would love to see that. I want to see more lightsabers. I mean, that's going to be amazing if it's well executed. And even though there's plenty of source material out there, if they're coming to just adapt the source material, is one thing then I believe that yes we have a chance of having a very good you know trilogy but if they're just coming to write their own stories you know just brace for subverting expectations and, and characters being ruined because I have you know these guys cannot write dialogue I'm sorry they, they cannot write dialogue you know they're very good at adapting a source material but when it comes to creating and finishing a character's arc it just they're they're just doing a terrible job so I'm wondering what's going to happen to Star Wars right now and uh, you know for me I'm more than heartbroken because I'm not only a Star Wars fan, I'm also a huge Game of Thrones fan. So I'm like, ugh, all my favorite TV shows and movies are just being ruined and destroyed because of idiots like these, you know, <laughs> subverting expectations. I'm starting to hate that word, you know. Uh, so looking at this uh, website over here on BuzzFeed, it's saying that uh, could a Alex Far Far Away be getting a whole lot bloodier. Of course not. We're not going to have anything at the level of uh, Game of Thrones because this is Disney and of course Star Wars is huge for kids. But mainly the information we have is that the movies will be uh, ready by 2022, 2024 and 2026. The trilogy that will be made by D&D. &D. Uh, the only thing I don't understand is like Lucasfilm really should have a better PR team or I don't know if they are doing this on purpose because people are talking about Game of Thrones, they're talking about them, but I gotta say fans are not really uh, big fans of uh, these two right now because of what's going on with Game of Thrones. But anyways guys, I really wanted to talk about this. Uh, I'm not very excited for the future of Star Wars, I will definitely, I'm open to giving the benefit of a doubt because I need to hear more information. Are they doing a, an adaptation of something? Are they going to write something new? Because if they are, because we are talking about the guys that created Wolverine Origins, you know, like the, one of the worst X-Men films ever made, you know. This is the Deadpool that they gave us. Remember that. Just remember that. Uh, you know, remember that Game of Thrones was only good because they were adapting from the books and once the books were done, we, well, we all saw that the seasons were not the best, you know, the dialogue were not the best and now they're pretty much sinking <laughs> sinking the Game of Thrones to end in a disaster but whatever uh, so I don't know what's gonna happen to Star Wars I again I need to hear more information to to form an opinion
opinion uh, of what do I think, you know, but right now I'm not very confident. I'm actually hating even looking at this guy's faces because um, they rushed Game of Thrones. Of course, when you're working in movies, it's a little bit different. Uh, they're probably going to be getting paid way more. I don't know, and I don't care. I don't. I just know that I am very indeed worried about the future of Star Wars. I don't know if they're going to be talking to George, the original creator of Star Wars, and getting some feedback. But whatever. I would love to hear your opinion. What did, are you excited for D&D &D coming to Star Wars? Do you think that they're going to do a good job? Or, or do you have any expectations? Love to hear your thoughts. Drop your comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye.